I almost ran out of gas. <laughs> I love turkey platters and I don't care who knows. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. Yes, I'm in my truck today. I am out of town. I had a chiropractor appointment and there is a thrift store here in this town and I actually have like two hours to spare because I have another appointment back home. This is about two and a half hours away from me, the chiropractor. So I planned it out that I'm able to go thrifting and then when I get home, I'm going to get a massage. So it's kind of like a me day and <laughs> it's hard not to feel guilty on those days. But you know what? I, my back and neck has been giving me fits. I've been doing a lot of spring cleaning and moving things around and scrubbing and I really needed to get an adjustment and I thought, you know what? If I'm able, I'm going to get a massage when I get home too to just top it all off and get myself back like I need to be so I can take better care of my home and my family. But I'm at this Deseret Industries and I've been here once before. It's a huge store and I'm gonna bring you guys in. So I don't know if I'm gonna find anything today. I Hopefully I do. I really am looking for a bench. I know it's a big find but and probably a rare one, but I am looking for a bench for my living room. And then I'll probably look at clothes. Of course, I always look at dishes. So, all right, you guys, let's go look at the aisles of Deseret Industries. Today's video is a long one, and I wanna thank everyone that actually makes it to the end but I got a lot of footage inside the store because I had time. So I hope you guys enjoy the time that I took to show you what this store had.
Alright y'all, we started in the truck so I thought we would end in the truck. My hair has been up since about 6 something this morning and it's now 7 p.m. at night so <laughs> it's come a long way and it's looking like 7 p.m. Uh, hair. So I was supposed to go and get a massage today but the traffic was so bad it usually takes about 2 hours, 10 maybe 15 minutes to get home. It took over three and a half hours because there was two wrecks on the freeway and they are working on the freeway two or three different times we went down to one lane. I'm thankful that I wasn't one of the wrecks, super thankful, but I had to reschedule my appointment because there was no way I was going to make it. And also, um, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't get gas before I left today and I should have because I had time this morning. I have a 30 gallon tank in my truck and it was 29.973 gallons that it held. So I almost ran out of gas. Now I know how far I can go. <laughs> so let me show you this haul. Start with the clothes first because that's not everyone's favorite. So if it's not yours, you can skip on through. I picked up this skirt for me. I love a good cotton knit skirt for at home around the house. Who am I kidding? To run to Walmart to get groceries, whatever. <laughs> I love a good knit skirt and this is just one from JCPenney's that I apparently missed when they brought them out, but I found it at the thrift store. Probably for cheaper than I would have got it at Penny's. It was only $4. I picked up this skirt for my niece. Nie I I'm gonna have to say nieces because I have twin nieces and I tried to pass down whatever clothes I can from my daughter to them. And it's really hard though because my daughter has some really cute clothes. But my sister-in-law needs two of everything. Play skirts is one thing that it doesn't really matter, right? They're just going to play in it. So my daughter has this skirt. And so then now she'll have two. I think this is also from Penny's. It was four bucks and it's just a nice little denim play skirt. It's full, they can run and play and have a lot of fun and this move around. Also enough. going to be a little tip for you when you're shopping for clothes at thrift stores, always check the dressing room go backs, the, the stuff that people try on and put right there. Cause sometimes people find some really cool stuff. This was one of them. This is a J crew dress. I only paid six bucks for it. It's super cute for summer navy blue with flowers and it's tiered it's probably not the best place to show you this stuff but before I haul it all in I thought I'll show you right here it fits perfect and the length is perfect it's gonna be nice okay, this cool. next item is totally something my mom would do whoever had it cut the tag off but I love this little smocked stretchy waist isn't this the cutest skirt it's a leopard ruffled skirt and it could be dressed up or down I bought this for me and I thought it's a really good length for summer so it's just it's like right below the knee so it's not too long and I thought it would be nice and cool and I really cute. think that this was a women's dress like a old like the 80s or something and it shrank and they put it in the little girl section so because it says size 12 see petite it's only five bucks but it's so cute and fun for like spring and summer it's just um long like flowy it buttons down the front and then uh the only thing is it's missing like it has oh wait right there it has sequins sewn on it right there and it's missing several sequins but i'm just gonna take them all off because I mean, it's super cute without it. You like, don't even really notice that they're there, right? It has a little belt that ties in the back. Two more clothing items. All right, I picked this up for my daughter. This is a really pretty lavender lacy dress. It's just lace all the way down. 
it says it's a size large but i really think it has shrunk because i wear a large there's no way that this will fit me it's really tiny i love the sleeve length this is a really good brand i have looked at dresses online from there and they're pretty pricey so i know that this was pricey for the thrift store but this dress was probably like 50 bucks or more on the website beautiful dress for 15 bucks so pretty and modest look at this it's super long so it's like really and it's tiered and it's a really dressy dress navy blue i love the top it looks so feminine and it's so tiny like the waist is so tiny i hope it fits her i looked at the sizing and inside it says it's a nine but i don't think this could be a nine probably an imported dress so maybe they run a lot smaller so you can see that and this is the brand i've never heard of it before it says boutique roco rocco i don't know but anyways i thought it was so pretty in the back like buttons all the way up are they're really dirty you guys but that's what we're buying them for is to keep our feet clean when we go out and feed the calf and check on the chickens it gets really muddy wet out here and we really need boots like this and they're so expensive and so these were only oh they're really dirty guys sorry but they were only eight dollars and these are like at least 60 bucks at like cabela's or bass pro but they were in really good shape they're just dirty for eight bucks that's I don't such a good my deal. daughter's gonna like it but i thought it was so cute it's like a do they call that decoupage i don't know if that's the right word maybe it's puzzle glue but it has this all this old-fashioned kitty cats and the little girls on it and i thought she could just set this in her room like by her bed and put whatever on it it's a really good size you can tell this is really well made it's not like cheap so that is one of the reasons i did buy it, it was only a dollar fifty and i think she's really gonna like this she loves I don't cats. even know what i'm gonna use it for yet but I just couldn't leave it there. I've never seen anything like it. It's made by Anchor Hawking. So it says it's oven and microwave safe. I've never seen it before, but it was only $2. It's solid glass. It's not plastic and it has a glass lid and everything. So I just thought this was so unique. I could put berries or I could even put butter in this. I couldn't leave it there because I just, I really liked it. And it looked okay, I'm useful. not huge on the red because I'm just not a red girl. So I may end up painting the handles, but this still has the tag on it from the store and you can tell it's super old. So the store, it says MI or something. I don't know, $10.23. Like, I don't know how old that is, but it's just so, I don't know, it's so cool. I love the lines in it. You could tell somebody has used it so I'll have to do some scrubbing on that. I just thought it was so neat. I might paint this a real pretty navy blue. And I only paid $3 for this. And this is real, like a heavy duty roll. I have a hard paint. time with steamers. I don't wanna buy one new because they're always at their store. And I felt like this one could go in so many different size pans because it has these lines. It has like one, two, and then this third line up here. So I'm hoping it fits down in one of my pans. I don't know if it will, so I'm totally taking a chance, but I figured for $1.50, it's okay. Cause if I sold it at a yard sale, I'm pretty sure I could get my money back. Um, so, and it's a nice, like a heavy duty metal stainless steel. So my Napa steamer. thrifting video, I picked up a, what are these called? <laughs> I just totally went blank. Silver? Yes, yeah, silver pan like this, and it had little feet on it. And so I saw this one, and I thought it was so pretty. It has a lot of detail, too. I love the shape of it. Super unique. It has feet. I love the little feet. So, so cute. Oh, this is, it's starting to get dark. I gotta get, get hurry up and get out of here so you guys can actually see this stuff but I love the little feet on it, super cute. It was only $4, almost done. Four more items, I gotta hurry. I'm trying to beat the daylight. 
I really don't need any Pyrex pans, you guys, but I, I just couldn't leave these there because I've never seen pans like this. I love that it has a handle, like super easy to grab and pick up. I mean, you're, I know you're not gonna be like grabbing it when it's hot, but when it's not, like if you do a cake or something, so I, there was two of this size, the regular like nine by 13, and then one of this size. And these are actual Pyrex brand. And this one was $2. And then these, hold on. The bigger ones were $3. Y'all are gonna think I've lost my ever loving mind. And to be honest, I kind of have, <laughs> but I did grab this. Okay, I love this plate. It's so pretty and I kind of feel like in my Thanksgiving like fall stuff that I have a little saucer that matches this. But I could be totally wrong. Maybe it'll just like blend with it. But it really, really reminded me of it. I don't know. I just think this is so pretty and you could use it for the spring and the summer because it's just a beautiful colors. I love the edge. It has a chip in it right there and I don't even care hand painted under glaze california made in the usa and it's called mayflower oh look it has a chip on the back right here which is totally fine and it was only three dollars adding another one to my collection y'all don't judge me i feel you judging me <laughs> How could you leave this there? Like it's the perfect white and vintage looking turkey platter. I know, I know, I know. I don't need another one. If you're new here, I'm sorry. You probably have no clue what's going on. But if you watch any of my videos, actually go watch my Thanksgiving video. I'm gonna link it right here. <laughs> you will see that I have a turkey platter problem obsession that's the word i shouldn't look for them anymore and i really don't i just walk by and i happen to see it but it's so pretty i love the detail on this one and i love the creamy white color it has pumpkins and this beautiful turkey see how the bottom is i don't know if this was like handmade but it says right there oh i hope you could see it it says holland and I don't know what else it says right there. And then it says VB8. I need to try to look this up. Maybe it's like expensive. I don't know. But it doesn't have any cracks on it or anything. And it was only $4. I love turkey platters. And I don't care who knows. I picked this item up for my cousin Heather. It is the tray that goes underneath a punch bowl set you know what I'm talking about where it has the cups that hang on the side and it has like the stand it sits on and then this big beautiful tray underneath of it so I found this for $12 and I went into this big long story of why I knew she needed one and <laughs> for the sake of time on this video I cut it out and decided to just do a voiceover this is the first one I've ever seen at a thrift store for only 12 bucks okay I gotta get out of here it's getting so dark Thank you for coming along with me today to shop Deseret Industries. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Give it a thumbs up. If you've seen something that you liked today, give me a comment and let me know what it was. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.